Okay, let's go look at uh, source document records and books of account. Source document records and books of account. What do we mean by source document first? Source documents are books of evidence to transactions recorded in the books of account. For every transaction to be recorded, or for any transaction to be recorded in any books of account, there must be books of evidence to that transaction. So, those books of evidence to transactions recorded are known as source documents. They are one quotation. A business makes a written offer to customers to produce or deliver goods or services for a certain amount of money that is what we call quotation two sales order is a source document and the sales order is a customer a customer write out or signed an order for goods or services he requires also we have purchase order as also a source document a business orders from another business goods and services such as material supplies so purchase order is a source document goods received notes is also a source document and a good received note is a list of goods that a business has received from a supplier so that is what we call a what a uh a what? That's what we call a good receive what note, and uh, this is usually prepared by the business own warehouse or goods receiving what good receiving uh, area. So they are usually prepared by what by a firm warehouse or, or, or business own warehouse or goods receive what area. Then we have what we call goods dispatch note, a list of goods that's what a business has sent out to customers we have what we call an invoice an invoice uh, 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 an invoice set out the full details of goods sent by the supplier uh, by the suppliers to the buyers stating the quantity price and discount given and terms of what terms of payments we also have a petit cash voucher. A petit cash voucher covers payment credited to the petit cash book. So it's a major source document to petit cash book. So that is a uh, uh, petit cash as a source word, as a source document. We also have what we call statement of account. A document sent out by a supplier to a customer listing all invoices all invoices credit notes and payment received from the customer we also have what we call the credit notes as a source document a credit note is a document sent by a supplier to a customer in respect of goods returned or over payments made by the customer you must know the basis of uh, sending a credit note it's based on goods returned because money will not be refunded or there is an over payment debit note is the opposite a direct opposite of debit notes sorry a debit note is a direct opposite of credit notes a, a debit note is a document sent by the customer to a supplier in respect of goods returned or an over payment what uh, 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 over payment made sent by what sent by a customer to a supplier okay so that is a a, a debit what a debit note so it is a formal request for the suppliers to what to issue a what 
to issue a credit what a credit note in that uh, respect okay we have remittance advice uh, alternatively a debit note is also issued by supplier to or to a customer for underpayment for underpayment for underpayment also take note of that so remittance advice a document sent with a payment details which uh, involves uh, which in, uh, invoices are being paid and which credit notes are or are also offset we call it a remittance adverse then we have receipt uh, a receipt is uh, a document that acknowledges what that acknowledges payment so a receipt is a uh, is a document that acknowledges payment so this is usually uh, is written confirmation that money has been paid and this is usually in respect of cash sales for instance uh, eg a till received from a cash register so that is uh, what we call the source documents they are books of evidence once again receipts is one of them uh, remittance advice is one of them debit note credit notes debit note credit note statement of account petit cash voucher petit cash voucher invoice goods dispatch note uh goods received notes and uh purchase order sales order then quotations these are what we call source documents it should be noted that the two books are very necessary it should be noted that what two books are very necessary in the recording of financial transactions be it a credit transaction or a cash transaction all transactions must pass through the books of account and as a result it is necessary we we'll look at these books of account together the first books of account the first one is what we call the subsidiary books the subsidiary books and we have the subs uh, the principal book the principal book the subsidiary books are sometimes referred to as the book of prime entry or what we call the books of original books of original entry but before we look at the principal book which is the ultimate book but we must look at what we been by the subsidiary books of our count so let's go in by looking at the subsidiary books of account the subsidiary books of account is a book of first entry in which transactions are recorded first before they are being transferred to the principal book and the principal book here is ledger so the subsidiary book is also called the books of original entry or books of prime entry what are they they are sales day book purchases day book sales return day book purchases returns day book journals cash book and finally petty cash book these are the so books of all books of original entry or prime entry or what we call the subsidiary books of accounts now let's look at them in a tabular form subsidiary books and their source documents remember we just finished just documents earlier on for purchases day book the source document to it is incoming invoice and debit note received the sales day book 
outgoing invoice or debit note issued sales return day book credit note sent out purchases return day book incoming credit notes cash book the source document is still sleep incoming checks receipts check counterfoils and petty cash book we have petty cash voucher as the source documents this is examinable it is testable in the exam you must know the source documents to each of the words subsidiary books of account let's consider the reasons for subsidiary books of account one of the reasons for subsidiary books of account is that to know the total sales or purchases we want to know the total sales or purchases number three is that what they are used as books to make first entry i've told you they are first entry transaction books and my next is to keep track of people whom money is owed to that is we want to see uh we want to see uh the, the creditors or what we call our payables we want to know our payables then to know whom what money is owed and of the people who owe money this is what also know our what to know the usually you call it debtors but with IFRS we call it receivables we want to know our rece receivables those who owe the company and those who the company is owing which is all the payables so these are the major reasons the three major reasons for the subsidiary books of uh, account so we shall take these subsidiary books of account one after the other let's we consider the first uh, our sub, uh, subsidiary books of account which is our sales day book or sales journal it is usually recording goods sold uh, on credit to customers so this is a book of original entry in which credit sales are recorded before being posted to the sales what before being posted to the principal book which is a ledger so in the sales day book cash transaction must not be recorded you must take note we use it for recording credit uh, transaction credit sales only equally sales of fixed assets must not be excluded from the world was not must sorry must be excluded also from the world from the uh, from the day book so for any sales of fixed asset or what we call the non-current asset we use the uh, the journal to to answer that so the sales journal is not part of the double entry all the day books are not part of the double entry except the cash book which also which is the only uh, subsidiary book that uh, that uh, allows for double entry so the seller will be uh, the, the, the seller will enter the sales journal from the sales invoice so how does posting look like so the uh, 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 by the time we draw up a sales journal uh, the total of sales the total of sales in the sales journal will be uh, transferred to the credit side of the what of the sales account so we take it to the credit what the credit side of the sales account so uh, the total total in sales journal will be transferred to credit side so credit what credit sales account and the uh, various customers account so various customers account will be debited so take note of that and uh, there's a need for us to also recognize what we call trade discount there's what we call trade discount a trade discount is given to a customer in order to ensure bulk purchasing 
bulk purchasing so it is deducted at source before telling the customer the actual amount is owing so this uh, the trade discount is the the allowance of the selling price or cat uh, catalog or price of goods supply so it is normally given to the buyer by manufacturer so trade discount are simply a percentage of deduction from the world from the retail prices therefore no entry for it should be what should be made in a double entry record so it's uh, is deducted at source you know uh, before uh, arriving at the amount the customer is owing so trade discount differ from cash discount but later on we'll be looking at the distinction between trade discount and cash discount trade discount is given at source while cash discount is given to encourage customers to make payment promptly you know okay so <coughs> beg your pardon so that is the uh, uh, sales day book. We use the recording goods uh, sold on credit. The total amount of uh, credit sales will be transferred to the credit side of sales account, and the various customer accounts will be debited. So, uh, the for instance, this is a specimen. This is how our sales day book uh, uh, will look like. We we'll have our date. We we'll have our particulars. Then we have our folio, we have our folio, which is used for referencing. We have our details, and we have our total, total amount. So this is the specimen of uh, our sales day book. So. So this is specimens. They will, by the time we find the total here, the total sum here will be credited to sales account. So we'll just come here, sales account on the credit side. We'll tag it as what as a sundry. We'll put it there. Then the various various customers account, you know, customers account will then be what be debited with their various words various value you know we just come here let's say january sales debit the customers with their various words various amounts so there is a question we have and uh, let's quickly use that question as a case study to sales day book enter the following transactions to or uh, the following transaction of messy enterprise in the sales day book for the month of January 2014. January 1st, uh, 2014 sold goods to Henry, 20 bags of sugar at 40 each, 12 plates at uh, 140 each, and uh, January 12th, uh, 2014 sold goods to Musti, 12 bags of cement at uh, 45 naira each, uh, 5 packets of tea at 15 naira each, and uh, presented with their uh, trade discounts trade discount at 10 percent trade discount at uh, 10 percent so the trade discount at 10 percent is uh, is for musty whereas uh, a, a messy enterprise is not having any form of uh, any form of uh, discount available to it so let's quickly solve that so this will be the solution solution our specimen is this Sales day book. We have date. We have particulars. We have folio. We have details. Then we have total. So So the date is January, January 1st, 2014, 2014. The first person transaction there is uh, Henry, Henry, we have Henry, what happened to Henry, to Henry we have uh, a sales of 20 bags. 20 bags 
of sugar at uh, 40 naira each and that will give us 20 by 40 times 40 that is uh, 800 so that is 800 then the next is our uh, 12 plates 12 plates at 140 naira 140 naira each and that is 12 times 1 12 times 140 and that will give us uh, 1680 1680 so the total the total transaction of uh, Henry is 2480 2, okay So we now have uh, January. The next date is uh, January 12. Twenty fourteen, and that is uh, we have uh, Musti as the customer. Twelve bag of cement. So twelve bags of cement at forty five naira each, and that will give us twelve times twelve times forty five. That will give us five forty. And here we have five packets of tea. Five packets of tea at uh, 15 naira. So 15 times uh, 5. And that is 75. If we, to if we total this, our total here is uh, six fifteen, six fifteen. Then let's trade discount. Let's trade discount of uh, our trade discount is uh, ten percent. The ten percent, yes. Our trade discount is ten percent. So in a bracket, ten percent of six one five. The ten percent of six one five is going to be sixty two approximately. So when we less that, we are going to have five five three. The total here is two thousand four eighty. So we we'll add two four eighty plus five five three. It will give us. It will give us a total of thirty zero three three. So this is what we are transferring. We say transfer to sales account. So this is the total we are transferring to sales account. So in the next page, we we'll come here. We we'll have sales account. Hang the error. We we'll come here. That will be the last day, January thirty first. We shall say it is what sundry. 
sundry and that is a uh, 30033 so this is for the year 2040 then the various customers accounts will be open we have mercy mercy account okay then we also have musti musti account what do we say we say the various customers account will be what will be debited 2014 for for mercy it is a january for most it is january 1st for most it is january 12th so january 1st then 2014 january 12th sales sales the value for mercy is 2480 and the value for musti is a five five three five five three five five three so this is how it will go and I said remember the total here is a three thousand three thirty so that is for sales day book